welcome back to Smart ER and today I'm going to do a very very quick introduction to the Smart Media sat nav functionality. So uh, let's just get straight into it. So I've got a setup so we've got sat nav here. So to get into it you can just tap here and then to add a route we just literally tap on the plus drive to and then you have a couple of options. You can preset home, saved locations. So every time you go to a location, you get the option to save it. Or like we're going to do on this occasion, we're simply going to go and select an address that we're going to travel to. So you select address. So here are some of the ones that I've recently gone to. So we're going to go and select Merthyr Tidville. We're going to select the center. And this is what it looks like once it's decided and found all the information it needs. If you put in your own address, it takes a while to populate this area here. So select it. And then it's going to tell you it's 9.4 miles away from the route we're going to take, the day, the date, the time. And then it's about 17 minutes. And here is the route. Now, there are a couple of elements, uh, a couple of icons on here. Um, so I suppose it's best to just get them out of the way. So this one here is an information piece. So what is that about? Uh, your phone date has been updated. That's great. So we'll clear that. Then you've got your mobile phone, which is what I've got on now, connect to what the signal strength is and what the battery condition is, which is useful the temperature outside, and then the time. Then we've got these elements here. So this is going to tell you what's going to happen next. But if you tap on it, you can select the volume that you want to have. Or you can turn the volume off as well. Voice guidance turned off. So, sorry about the impromptu information. So we've got it. We can turn it back on. So this is the volume control for your audio. Cool. Next, you've got uh, the view types. Oops. Go back here. You've got the view types. You've got three D, two D. So, and it's set it for direction of travel. So as I'm driving in that direction, that's the whole map is going to orient to the way I want to go, rather than it being true north and then following uh, the actual direction on the map. Probably made no sense at all. But... Okay, and then on this one here, this gives you another overview of the route you're going to take. And if you click on live, nothing. So it says here renew. I'm pretty sure that I don't have access to that and you've got to sign up for the, the Tom Tom places. I did try and uh, do that, but it wouldn't let me. So that is it. Uh, that is a brief look at what it looks like when you dial in the location from a preset destination. Uh, it's going to be 9.4 miles away. Our estimate time of arrival is 11.40. And these are our turn by turn actions. Now, one thing I found is you can still have uh, your, your navigation menu set up like this, which is good. And then you still have access to your phone, your aux in, or normally have where the auxiliary is. It comes up as media and Bluetooth, and then your eco score. Um, but what you can do is once you've started and you're underway, when I first got the car, I didn't know how to cancel the navigation. So I, I figured it out. You literally just tap plus change route there it is why the hell there isn't a stop navigation button on this user interface i have no idea so that's what it's like if you have a a, a recently visited uh destination but let me show you what it's like if you're going to manually select a location so we're going to click the plus button drive to address 
and the cursor is flashing up here so i'm just gonna put tesco and let's see how clever it is tesco space Mercer. Tid, oh no. Tid. Well. Will that. No, nothing at all. So let's delete that and just put, shall we say, Nelson. Because we're in Nelson anyway. Nelson. Harris, there we are, and we're going to select that there. House number is not available, we'll choose anywhere. That's the summary of where you want to go. Yes, we do. Press select, done. And then, if I was driving, it would tell you you'd start making a forward movement, and it would say. In 85 yards turn left so I can't show you what it's like driving because I'm the only person in the car and I'm not going to break the law by holding this device and driving plus this is a, the manual version so uh, I'm going to end up getting myself into some uh, law-breaking avenues which I don't want to do so what I thought I'd do as well is just do another quick recap. I did a video a couple of days ago where you can actually use navigation using the voice assistant. So let me show you. How may I help you? Destination. You are in the destination menu. What would you like to do? Address. What was that? Address. Would you like to choose an address or display the list of itineraries, recent destinations or saved locations? Choose address. For directions to an address, please say the full address. Cardiff. I didn't quite get that. Say the list number of the correct address or say none of these. 1. Cardiff. 2. Cardu. 1. Say the address in Cardiff. 13 Eccles Street. I heard 13 Angles of Street, Cardiff. Is that correct? Yes. Starting guidance to 13 Angles of Street, Cardiff. So as you can see, I asked for Eccles Street. I don't even think it was the right number. But this is one of those algorithms in the software that the more you use it, uh, the better it becomes. So you have to continually use it. So once it's found the information it needs to take you where you want to go, you can get there pretty simply. So my advice is use the voice assistant as much as you can so it learns your voice and its styles, and then you're more likely to get a quicker result. But the key thing to remember when using voice assistant is be patient, it takes a while, and don't forget to pause between each beep and speak clearly. So I hope you found that useful and uh, stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It does help me a lot. If you have any questions or any content that you think may be useful or you'd like me to look into, just drop it into the comment section. But other than that, it's cup of tea time.